Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of our vlog for the S13 build. Uh, we got some goodies in the mail today, and we're going to show the unboxing. We got our uh, brand new PHR manifold that we're going to be using for the, for the 2J. Uh, going to open it up and see what, see what she looks like. Go through everything with you guys too of uh, all the pros and the reason we chose this manifold over some others. There, you go. there she is. Oh my god! It looks oh ridiculous. my god! This is a heavy beast right here. <laughs> Look at that! All right, let's get this over on the table. Woo. This thing is a beast. All right, now that we got this bad boy on the table, we can go over some of the details as to why we chose the PHR S45 manifold for the 2J. It's a one and a half inch primary equal length header. What's nice about the one and a half inch primaries is that it matches our race port cylinder head uh, for the 2J. As far as we know, this is the only off the shelf equal length header that does come with a billet collector. And the reason that we really like this billet collector is because over time, um, when the manifold gets hot and cold, hot and cold, it tends to crack and you'll get nasty leaks before the turbo, and sometimes they're hard to trace down. Uh, so with the billet collector, you typically don't have to worry about that ever happening again. We also have uh, the twin 44 millimeter setup for waste gates. We're gonna we're going to want to be able to control boost as best as we can for this car. Uh, it's a very lightweight car, making a lot of power. So between the computer and the boost controller, uh, we're going to need to have exact boost when we want it, when we don't want it, uh, to make sure the car hooks on the street. So that's why we, we requested this setup. All right, let's get this bad boy bolted up to the motor and see how it looks. This thing weighs a ton. Still gonna put the rest of the studs in. All right, we're gonna get the rest of the studs in and torque it up, and then uh, bolt on that bad boy turbo. Let's see how the whole package looks. When we were planning the build out, we were deciding on uh, precision turbos from all the way from uh, 6870 up to the 7685. We ended up landing right in the middle with the 7675 to try to get somewhat of the best of both worlds. We matched a 75 millimeter turbine wheel with the 1.12 AR housing in the rear, and we think it's going to work really well with the 3.4 liter. So the next piece of the build we're going to talk about is the intake manifold. We're using the OEM 2JZ intake manifold and we've modified it. Andre EMS introduced us to a good friend of his, Ken Fab. He does amazing fabrication work. Uh, he'll be doing a lot of the fabrication work throughout this build. He modified the factory plenum to allow for more volume and he also ported the upper and lower intake runners to match the race port cylinder head. Now we're going to cut to a few shots of what it took to modify this manifold. KinFab also modified the stock plenum so that we can plug in our various uh, vacuum ports like blow off valve, boost controller, map sensor, and so on. PHR also provided their aftermarket IAC kit. As you can see, the throttle body isn't quite finished yet. Uh, we've gone ahead and modified it for a V-band connector up front, and we're going to be sending it out to Max Bore to get it ported, and once we have it back, we'll code it to match the intake manifold. In the coming episodes, we're going to be talking about the transmission and clutch we chose for this project 
Uh, everyone assumes since we said 6 speed manual that it's a V160 from the Supra. That's not really the case this time. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell at the top of our channel page and you'll be notified when we upload a new video.